how a lack of confidence literally killed my boutique. When I first started my first online boutique, I had no confidence at all. Like most new entrepreneurs, I was second guessing myself and thought that I wasn't good enough to run a successful boutique. And that translated into a lack of confidence and I didn't even show up online on social media or on my website. I thought that I could get away with not having to show my face and still build a successful boutique. And I found out the hard way that your audience needs to know, like, and trust you in order to buy from you and turn into customers. And I simply wasn't doing that. So the second time around, when I started my women's online clothing brand, I started to show up more. And now I can proudly say that I'm at the confidence level where I can show my face on social media, do videos like this on camera, speak in front of audiences of 50 plus people, run a podcast and literally have these in-depth conversations with strangers and me showing up more and showing up more confidently all contributed to a huge boost of boutique sales. But remember, I wasn't born with this confidence. I first decided that I was going to build my confidence and I had practice. I practiced putting myself out there. I practiced social media videos like this. I said yes to going live on the news. Confidence is a skill that can be learned. So if you are an ambitious entrepreneur and owner of a boutique and you're looking for ways to increase your confidence because you know it's affecting your boutique sales, then you should consider hosting pop-up shops. This is going to give you practice interacting with strangers and different types of people, but also putting yourself out there and getting comfortable talking about yourself and your boutique. This is all going to help you practice putting yourself out there and it's a great way to gain confidence, which is exactly how I did it.